Larry and Luke are ready, we can hit the road. Thanks, Dad. I got you some big treats to take with you. Honey, the whole point of this excursion into the woods is to live off the land for a few days and hopefully toughen up the boys a little. Bringing along fresh pastry sends the wrong message. <laughs> Can't you be tough and still enjoy a nice cinnamon Danish? It's like a gooey hug for my tummy. I withdraw the question. I'll see if the boys are ready. Hey, Grandpa, the first load is ready. <laughs> Quick question. When we get to the resort, will we be sharing a master suite, or do we all get our own room? There's no resort. We're going deep into the woods, far from civilization. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. The woods are full of scary things. Bears, wolves, snakes, Blair witches. <laughs> This is almost the last of it. We just need some help dismantling the bed frames so we can get them down the stairs. Now, what is all this? I told you to bring only the most basic of necessities. We did. That's why we made the very difficult decision not to pack the electric fireplace. You mean that electric fireplace? No, we mean the backup fireplace. This one's definitely coming. Are you sure the woods are safe, Grandpa? And keep in mind, the closest we've been in nature is the produce aisle at the grocery store. <laughs> Stick with me and you'll be fine. By the end of the weekend, I'll have turned both you boys into men. <laughs> what about me? I'm already a man. What are you gonna turn me into? <laughs> okay, surprise me. Come on. Bye, boys. Have fun. See ya. Bye, guys. Maybe I shouldn't go. I don't like the idea of leaving the two of you alone in the house all weekend. We can handle ourselves. Yeah, don't worry about us. We're not the ones heading deep into bear country with inadequate supplies and no way to contact the outside world. Would you please let me stay and protect you? Oh, you'll be fine. All I ask is that you try to make it through two days without getting on my dad's nerves. We both know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Hey there, neighbor. Well, good. You got my rock. <laughs> you do know you could just pick up a phone and call, right? I need a favor, Bill. At least and Lori will be home alone all weekend. Could you check in on them for me, though, say every half hour for the next two days? Well, I was planning on... Great! <laughs> just don't tell them I sent you. <laughs> They'll think I'm a worry ward. Hey, let's go! Oh, wait. Uh, there's still the matter of a certain rock through a certain window. I hear ya. And if a certain someone does a good job this weekend, they can keep that certain rock. Well, that was a pleasant two-hour hike. Speak for yourself. You didn't have to carry these feather pillows. We'll set up camp here. I hope we're closer to the men's room. I've been holding it in for a while. We're in the middle of the woods, Larry. There is no men's room. Fine, then I'll use the ladies' room. It's through there. <laughs> These woods are scary. Oh, it's perfectly safe. Bears won't bother us if we don't bother them. Same goes for the mountain folk. The mountain what now? Well, legend has it, these woods are home to a tribe of mountain dwellers who may or may not have a taste for human flesh. <laughs> okay, this was fun. Time to go home now. Don't let an old wives' tale scare you, Lane. Luke's not scared. Right, Luke? Who, me? Psst, nah. See, this is exactly why we're here. You all need to learn to man up. So, this is weird. Also, the ladies' room is out of toilet paper. All right. This tent is up. Ooh, I called dibs on that one. Well, at least you thought to hang the cooler up in case a bear gets curious. Oh, I didn't put that there. Well, then who did? Quick question. Do Blair witches know how to climb trees? <laughs> Us 
girls finally have a weekend all to ourselves and you're gonna spend it doing homework? Not on my watch. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna do? I know. Let's curl up on the couch with some popcorn and watch a movie. Just nothing too scary, okay? Why? Are you afraid without your big, strong husband here to protect you? For your information, I'm not the least bit nervous about our being home alone. <gasps> Little jumpy there, Mom? I'm not jumpy. I always get excited when the doorbell rings. Hey there. I thought I'd just pop by and see how my closest neighbors were doing. Aw, Bill, that's sweet. We also consider you a dear friend. I meant closest by proximity, but okay. <laughs> oh, and here, I believe this is Lane's. Oh, uh, sorry, Lane's not here right now. He went camping with the boys, but I'll be sure to tell him you dropped by to return his rock. My girls are away for the weekend, too, so if you want me to swing by later and check in on you, it's no trouble. That won't be necessary, but thanks for the offer. Okay, well, here's my cell phone number. If you need anything, just do me a favor and give it to your husband. I can't afford to replace any more windows. What was that all about? When you've been married to your father as long as I have, you learn to stop asking that question. <laughs> How come Luke got to stay at the campsite while the rest of us have to collect firewood? Well, because he offered to be on lookout duty while we were gone. And because none of us could reach the cooler to get him down. Why'd you bring your pack with you? We're only two minutes from camp. And risk some mountain man making off with all my stuff? <laughs> no thanks. Yet you were okay leaving Luke there. <laughs> well, let's just finish gathering kindling, then we can start thinking about dinner. Way ahead of you. I'll order the pizza. Larry. We're in a remote forest. There's no pizzeria within four hours of here. Perfect, that means they'll never make their 30 minute guarantee. <laughs> ah! Snakes everywhere, run away! Oh, I think we outran them. What kind of snakes were they? Rattlers? I don't know, but there were four of them and they were slithering all over my boots. Ah, they're still there! <laughs> Those aren't snakes, they're your shoelaces. Oh, oh my boots are untied. Oh. oh, it's lucky I didn't trip while we were running away from those snakes. Wait, wait, wait. Where are the tents? We must have gotten turned around somehow. You mean, we're lost? Great, now it's gonna take forever for the pizza guy to find us. Better order some Chinese while we wait. No signal. We're going in circles. I wish I hadn't left my compass back at the campsite. I guess Dad was pretty smart to bring his pack with him after all. Aw, thanks, Luke. I'm Larry, Luke's the cartoon. <laughs> right, sorry. Anyway, let's go back to talking about how smart I am. It's getting dark. Lane, hand me your flashlight. Oh, a flashlight? That would have been a good idea. <laughs> Did you bring anything helpful? A flare gun, maybe, or an air horn? Oh. I brought a whistle. It's a dog whistle. Only dogs can hear it. Maybe a nice rescue dog will find us. Out here, it's more likely to get the attention of a pack of wolves. N nice rescue wolves? Sure. What else do you have in there? Oh. I brought a pine-scented air freshener. <laughs> I'll hang it here on this pine tree. Oh, yeah, you can really smell the pine. If only we had the map with us. I have a map of the woods right here. Oh, thank goodness. Lane, I take back everything bad I ever said about you. And just so we're clear, it was a lot. <laughs> What movie are we watching? It's called King of Hearts. It's about a small town school teacher who wins the hearts of three different women. Obviously written by a man. 
but I'm a sucker for romance. <laughs> told me the school teacher won their hearts. You didn't mention that he'd be removing them from their bodies. I don't understand. I looked it up. Oh, I see my mistake. There's two movies with the same title. One is a romance. The other is a gory splatter fest that will plunge viewers into a shocking world of intense terror and madness. <laughs> Guess which one we watched. No problem. It's just a movie. Maybe we should ask Bill from next door to check under all the beds, just in case. Absolutely not. We are two strong, fearless women, not a couple of scared little girls. You're right, Mom. We can do this. But just for fun, what do you say we turn on every light in the house and blast some loud music? Great idea. I'll go get my trombone. <laughs> Lane, this is the same clearing. I think I see where I went wrong. Uh, we need to go this way. No, wait. Uh, that path leads to a dead end. And that leads to the gravy hot springs. They see that map. This is the children's menu from the diner we stopped at. So we're not approaching Pancake Mountain? Luke's gonna be so worried about us. At least he has warm clothes and a tent over his head. Uh, maybe we should cuddle together for warmth. Yeah, I'm not big on cuddling. Could we at least gather together for warmth? For as long as it's just a gather. Where are those guys? Maybe I should go look for them. Then again, no point in all of us ending up in some mountain man stew. <laughs> Who goes there? Mountain man or Blair Witch? Not that I'm playing favorites. You're both equally terrifying. <laughs> ah, a bear! <laughs> huh? You're just a little guy, aren't you? What's wrong, little fella? Did you lose your family too? Who's a good little bear? You are. Yes, you are. Uh, uh. What is going on in there? <laughs> what was that? up against anything bigger than a fly, I'm in deep trouble. This trip has been a disaster. I thought you wanted to toughen us up. Toughen you up? I'm already tough. It's not so bad out here. I kind of like it. Well, maybe you're tougher than I gave you credit for. Hmm? What about me? Am I tougher than you gave me credit for? Sure, Lane, as tough as they come. I'm so emotional right now. But I'm not gonna cry, because that would seriously damage my tough guy image. Do you guys hear that? Banjo music. We should follow it. Maybe it's someone who can help us find our camp. No, I, I, I wouldn't do that. The first rule of the woods, never go towards the banjos. I'm gonna go check it out. Daddy coming? You bet. Let me just compose myself. I don't want any mountain men to see me in this state. <laughs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> don't stop jigging on our account. We's having a party. Come join the fun. Well, it would be rude not to stay for one jig.
That was delightful. That's a rarely have cause these days to get jiggy with it. <laughs> but uh, we really should be going now. Party ain't over. I think you offended them, Grandpa. What's going on over here? Oh, no, dupe! They got you, too? What? No, this is my family. <laughs> you mean you're a mountain man? Oh, we're not real mountain folk. It's our annual family reunion. Every year, we pick a new theme. Last year, we were millionaires. Uncle Jeremy didn't even bother to get a new costume. <laughs> so, 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 so no one's going to eat us? Of course not. But I'd steer clear of Cousin Morty, just to be on the safe side. He's a little off. I'm sure it was nothing, but I'll take a quick look around, just in case. That's the first thing people say in monster movies, right before the bad stuff starts happening. <laughs> At least that's what I assume they say. I would never sneak out of bed to watch scary movies after you and Dad are asleep. Fine. Stay close to me. We'll check out the garage first. That's strange. Hello? Lisa? It's Bill from next door. See, I told you it was nothing. <laughs> Which is exactly what people say in monster movies, right before the monster jumps out at them. Yeah, I'm definitely setting parental controls on the TV. <laughs> Maybe I'll just check and see if Bill's seen anything unusual tonight. Okay, so this is a funny story. <laughs> oh, thank goodness we're back. Thanks for helping us find it, Duke. My pleasure. I was looking for an excuse to get away from the family for a while. I have to share a tent with Cousin Morty, and he's a bit of a sleep eater. Luke, where are you, buddy? Oh, hey, you're back. You don't sound very excited to see us. Uh, no, I am. It's just I'd completely given up on you guys. I built a new life for myself here, and I'm not sure I'm ready to go back to the old ways. We were only gone one night. <laughs> well, I guess I'll head back now. I just hope I remember the way. Here's a map, just in case. Thank you so much. I could have ended up at this old witch's gingerbread house. Right. I'm glad you're okay, Luke. You weren't scared to be alone? Oh, I wasn't alone. I had my bear to keep me company. Luke still sleeps with a teddy bear? He's more like his old man every day. Oh, well, here comes my new friend now. Careful, he's a real bear in the morning. Just kidding. He's a real bear all the time, because he's a real bear. You can't take a bear cub in as a pet. Its mother will be looking for it. Oh, that won't happen. This poor cub lost his family, just like I lost mine. <laughs> but we came back. Very true. <laughs> I'll hold her off for as long as I can. Wow, Grandpa fights dirty. It's leaving. <laughs> Something scared it off. Of course, the dog whistle. Bears have sensitive hearing, so the high-frequency sound must have scared it off. <laughs> oh, quick thinking, Lane. <laughs> Don't tell them this. I was just trying to get the attention of those nice rescue wolves. You saved my life. Saved all our lives. Yeah, Dad. 
Grandpa may have fought a bear to a standstill using only his fists, but you're the real hero. <laughs>